Part 2 You will hear a library assistant talking about the library she works in. You now have 30 seconds to read questions 11 to 15. Hi, can I help you? Um, yes. I wanted to join the library. OK. First of all, let me show you around the library and explain a few things for you. OK. Now we're here at the main entrance. You can see the reception, which is where you bring back and take out books. And also, we can order books and answer your questions there. Uh -huh. Next to the reception, where you can see those old desks, is where we keep the magazines, because you can sit down and read there. They're divided into sections for sciences, geography, arts, etc. Uh, then, at the back of the library, you can see the section for old books. And next to that is where the books proper start. That used to be the science section. But now, on those shelves, you'll find the art section. We had a big reorganisation in the summer, which I think has made it clearer. Oh. <laughs> the numbering is standard, so you should be able to find what you want quite easily. However, if you can't find something, it probably means it's been borrowed. OK, then in the corner, next to the reference section, is where we thought it was quietest and away from the phones and printers and things. So we've put the study desks there. They all have computer access if you need it for your laptop. No. We do ask that you don't just read magazines there, though. OK, uh, then there's the reference section where you can look up the files. Then as we come back to the main entrance, is the next section, where we used to have the languages. It got very busy and noisy, so when we moved everything around, we decided to put the law books here. Also, because it's a smaller section, it fits quite well here. Ah. OK then, we're back at the main entrance. Over there, by reception, there's a door that goes to the extension. And we have further sections, such as languages and study desks through there. So you could have a look round when we've finished. Then, just between reception and the door here, is where we decided to put the computers. But the computer magazines are in the magazine section, as we found too many went missing here. <laughs> OK, is that everything? You now have 30 seconds to read questions 16 to 20. That's great, thanks. Can you just tell me a bit about borrowing and the rules and whatever? Of course. Over the last two months, we've been introducing a new system for this, and you can now take books out for six weeks. That's generally enough for most people. We usually get books back within 30 days. Of course, you may decide to renew the period. You used to have to come in to get the book stamped because we don't like doing it over the phone as there's no record of it. But now you can do all that via email. Oh. 
If you do forget to renew, then we do make a charge, I'm afraid. That helps our costs, of course, but we do insist on it. The good news is that there is only one charge. I know some libraries charge one pound for one week and then it goes up with each week it's late. We ask for one pound fifty, as we think that's high enough to stop people being overdue. <laughs> The other thing you may want to know is what you do about books that are not on the shelves. We do have a system for reserving them. All you have to do is fill in a yellow form behind those blue ones on the desk mm -hmm. and give it to someone at reception. We'll let you know when it comes in. Also, sometimes you will need a journal article that we don't have but can get from other libraries. So we offer an ordering service if you need it. Now, if you'd like to fill in this form here...